all right welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be watching euphoria season two episode eight eight yeah eight yeah okay the very last episode of euphoria that's out right now another work you guys said they're working on a season three but we don't have season three available to us right now so it's been a journey it's been a very long journey i think it's been a 12 week journey I, i'm not really sure but i've enjoyed it a lot so far so let's really see let's see how the season finale really goes i heard a lot of hype about this episode the hype is through the roof so maybe maybe i'm expecting too much but i but regardless i'm gonna go into it not expecting as much as i thought just i'm gonna try and have a neutral expectation about it you know so far the show's been great you know but this episode in particular i've been told is insane so and like i need to be emotionally ready for it that's what my friend told me so i i'm on i'm all ready now it's interesting because in the last episode we got lexi's play great play great choreography especially at the end of it you know but we know someone who didn't think it was that funny which was nate jacobs he got really really hurt and i'm pretty sure he broke up with cassie like on spot at the end of the episode so you know and like i'm sure like all of lexi's friends they were kind of like like they weren't i'm not gonna say like they hated it but they were more of just like wow like this is what she thinks of me you know i'm sure like some like you can tell like some parts like kind of bothered them but overall i don't think they're that mad about it and honestly the only person who really loved it was like lexi's mom <laughs> she was loving it like she was into that you know she she loves how she was portrayed but probably because she's a and like a 40 year old woman who just doesn't give a fuck anymore and just not insecure so but with the thing with nate it hit nate pretty personally what lexi did so and then i think the biggest thing that happened though is fez didn't fucking show up to this goddamn play his seat was empty the entire time and it was cutting back and forth between the play and the scene of him getting ready for the play and i don't have a good feeling about what happened because custer came in acted hella weird told Faye something Faye started acting hella weird and fez was just tying his his shirt or his tie or whatever just trying to look cute for lexi and he was like like what's good like like what's going on like why is everyone being hella weird and then that's the last thing we saw so i don't have a great feeling about that but regardless i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode of euphoria if you want to watch the full length reaction that will be available on patreon and i would say as for the, ne the next two episodes will also be on patreon but this is the last one also also we do need i do need to ask you guys about what shows um i'm thinking about watching next i'm gonna talk about that in the outro though this video so watch the outro i have a list of shows i'm kind of thinking so let me know but okay but really we're gonna start this episode right now yeah and this is when he was like is what's good is everything good you can just feel the tension in the room <laughs> fuck is you talking about bro no. <laughs> with mouse and and the cops the fu sorry mm, well where did they put it did they just put it in a dumpster or something Faye Faye I never said that what are you talking about we're changing the story, Custer. Killer that lives in the apartment complex off Kemper. Someone, does someone have a fucking wire? Are they talking hella weird? That. They're talking weird. Someone has a ha someone has to have a wire. Well, we gotta figure out what the fuck we're gonna say. Okay. Ashtray. No. no. Ash. No. Uh, 
gosh. Okay, that was cool. How he dropped the flowers and they dropped at Alexi's play at the same time. Ash, you can't just keep killing people. Like, Mouse had it coming. That was justified. Custer. <sighs> Custer, he didn't do anything wrong. He's just kind of a cornball. Kind of a dumbass. Like, that's, that's really it. I mean, you really got this shit all figured out, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You can connect with people who have similar Okay, interests. so it seems like Lexi and Fez are just talking all day, really starting to like each other, building that relationship between them up, just so the show can crush it with the cops finding Mouse's body, Astray killing Custer, and that's going to probably ruin their entire relationship somehow like some shit's gonna happen like they're focusing too much on it right now to make me think it's okay you know? they're focusing too much on it to make me think something's not gonna happen uh -huh. aren't you glad that we became friends hell yeah yeah <laughs> very much so oh lexi yeah oh, me too I like borderline in love and then yeah Oh yeah, Cassie with the fucking I'm gonna fucking kill you eyes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, yeah, Rue's like, bro, is she good? Is she take fucking bath salts? Oh yeah, you gotta stop your daughter. You gotta stop your daughter before she does some fuck shit. This is so dramatic. <laughs> like, why is everyone looking at her? Is she, is she literally stomping? <laughs> I have a bad feeling about what Cassie's about to do. This is your show. Come out. You're the big star of the day. Gosh, please, Cassie. You're the star of the night. I, I, feel like, I feel like Cassie's just kind of embarrassing herself here. Like... Like this is your big moment, shine. Like this doesn't make Cassie look good, or anything. What act are we in? Don't question it. That's the brilliance of Lexi Howe. Oh Hi gosh. everyone, real oh life. Um, played by Ethan. Real Wait, Ethan played their mom? Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I didn't. I didn't recognize him dressed up as a mom. Right? Because I've actually lived a life. Mom, I'm the one who takes risks. Bro, what? Well, that makes me a villain. <laughs> then so fucking be it. Just like Nate. I can play the fucking villain. Oh no, what do you, dude? This this makes Cassie look so bad. Part of the play where I steal Jake from Marta. No, Cassie, that's not in the play. It is now. <laughs> Mm. Who said that? Look, I want to say I get it. Oh, I'm going. <laughs> just go away. Okay, stop. Oh my god, yes. Bro, you just continue the play. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just left. Oh my god. Dude, this that's the worst thing. The fucking come on. After Cassie did the after Cassie's went on that rant on stage, that is that is the worst thing that they could have done. This needs to be put down. Oh my god. Maddie, no! Yes, Maddie. Maddie, yes. Yes, Maddie, do it. Yes. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, that was fucking chaotic. Yeah, Lexi probably should have reviewed her script a little more, with a little more attention, and took certain things out to avoid this. But you know, it would it would have weakened the script. So like, but hey, Lexi's Lexi does what she's got to do. Okay, do what you got to do for the sake of cinema. That feels really really nice because. Uh... 
Rue is growing. Sorry she, to do. She is growing. Yeah, that one's gonna take me a little bit longer. Yeah. Can I tell you something? Okay, okay, guys, to be fair. No guys, guys, I gotta say something. So when Elliot first showed up, I kinda said his apple tattoo is kinda dumb. And and then some of you guys commented the reason why he has that, and now I feel like shit about it. Like I didn't know that's why he had it, so I'm I'm sorry, but I feel like I feel like a dick now. If I keep you here, Sounds nice. Mm -hmm. Isn't he um like a musician in real life too? And so, I'm pretty sure he is. I'm pretty sure. So, that's cool how he, he gets the scene right here. Some distant Hopefully one day. That one kind of hits personally for me. In the end, I'm still working on it. That was really good. That was really good. I still think that. <laughs> hey, that that's how best friends say yes. We're still like this. The head nod was closure. Still fucks with her. And that made her happy. It's the only thing I've ever done, and it's a disaster. No, Lexi. No, pick your head up. The show must go on. Oh. Could be boring. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that could be. Yeah. The show goes on. Exactly. The show must go on. All right, people. Get ready. We're going back out. No, that would be really hard to talk to all of them after all that. You know, because, like, you're the leader. So they're looking up to you for directions like they want to know what to do and it's like yes give Lexi the confidence to, for her to go back out there and everyone give the gives everyone else the confidence too that they want to see the play continue noticed we're experiencing some technical difficulties Slight technical uh, a friend about this play Fez what if I upset people and Fog he said it. to me, um, oh, no, no one here with us tonight. This one's for you. Oh, this is for Frez. Okay, yeah, okay, let's see what the fuck happened to him. Okay, Sorry, bro. that make it look like you ain't do this. Yeah, Keep down the door any second. Wait, why are the cops there? Why are the cops coming? Still gonna go down longer. Come here, bro. Wait. Who called the cops? Why are they... I'm just... Are they just there because they found Mouse's body? They Damn, gonna no. come in here. They gonna find me with the knife in my hand. No, Fez. Come on. Wash your fucking hands. Wow, Fez is gonna take the blame. Damn. Fez is too good of a guy. He's... Like... He won't let his... His brother... Go down. I guess the cops are on the way because they found Mouse's body and they traced it back to them, I guess. What the fuck is that? Oh, no. No. Ashtray, why do you have a gun? No, it's the SWAT team. <laughs> is Ashtray going to try and kill the fucking SWAT team? Shoot them? Like, they're not going to do shit. Like, no, he's not going to be able to do shit. There's going to be, like, 20 of them. I... You trying to die? Yes, he's going to die if he... Wait, oh, wait. Uh, he's going to die if he tries to fight these the SWAT team right now. Come on, bro, please. <sighs> and Ashtray can't let FaZe take the blame for... Take the rap. So, I... You know, it's like they're both trying to cover each other, but it's like you really, you know. It's... OK, 
Okay, why did you cut the Nate? Oh my god, Astro. Why are we cutting the Nate? What the fuck is Nate gonna do? Or is it- Wait, no, wait, this is Nate at Fez's house, not the SWAT team. I thought moving the camera was so, like a procedure the SWAT team does. This has to be Nate, that's why they cut to him. Wait, Nate's gonna barge in. Shoot Fez. And Ashtray's gonna be in the bathroom with all the guns. So Fez won't be able to... Do anything. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. That's... Wait, no, that doesn't make sense, actually. Because the, the time of day doesn't make sense for that. Never mind. Oh, okay. This is... Kyle Jacobs and Co. Yeah, okay, I just realized... Fez's scene takes place before the play... And Nate was already at the play, and he left mid-play, so... And he's gonna go kill his dad? Like, it's like no. the only... I spent my whole life trying to protect you. And instead of loving me, you fucking hated me for it. Because you went about it the worst way possible. I'm not proud. Like the most irrational person ever. Is there a copy it's of him? Everything. Oh, it's all of it. I was gonna say, was it him and Jules? But no, it's all of it. It's all of it. Wait, did he report him to the cops? Don't do this. He did. Nate, look at me. Then why didn't Nate bring a gun if. Okay, I totally thought Nate was gonna. Kill him. Okay, okay. It was the SWAT team. I'm pretty sure I shot Fez too. I was gonna say like if Ash starts shooting, Fez is right there. I don't I couldn't tell who shot first. I'm pretty sure Ash shot first. But... Dude, they're gonna kill him now. There's no way. Even if he walked out with his hands, I'm pretty like they, he he opened fire on them, like. Ash, come on! I mean, I guess if he walked out with his hands up, they won it, but still. Oh, yeah, his grandma. I totally forgot. Wait, he, he didn't get shot? Did he? <gasps> yep, I knew it. <sighs> wow. Ash, you can't, like... You, you were never gonna get to kill all of them. Like... You, you were never going to be able to kill all. I was in the hall when you died. Damn. You let out a loud cry like you did. <sighs> I guess Ash would rather go down with a fight than go to prison. You know? Or he'd rather go down like that than let Fez take the rap. You know, Lexi, too many hospital visits for Lexi. You know, it's a lot. On her. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's hard to be present in a moment like that. Like, that's a moment you just want to zone out of and not feel it. Memories exist outside of time. And have no big yeah, this is having a really big impact on Jules. You know, as long as I live. Jules might go over and comfort her. This is, this is a hard thing to relive for Rue. Yeah, well, could you imagine if I, like, hated it and Cassie loved it? <laughs> mm-hmm. That'd be weird. Oh, wait, yeah, Lexi probably has no idea what happened to Fez yet. I was so worried something bad was gonna happen. And then they don't have to worry about it anymore. Still care, but the stress of worrying is gone. Because he only wants to be better for you. Not for himself. More than he loves himself. 
That is also a very strong point. I miss you. I like how what they did a lot in her play was they showed us the play. They show us the scene with you know Lexi and Rue, like right with like how they just did, and then they would reveal, oh, that was just part of the play, because you know that scene would hit a lot harder for the audience if it's actually actually Lexi and Rue, not just in the play. Does that make sense? Wait, what happened with Cassie and Maddie? The last thing that happened was Maddie slammed Cassie's head against the fucking wall. And then it just cut away. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess Maddie beat her ass. I mean, it's not... She didn't get beat up that bad, just a bloody nose. Probably just from the slam against the wall. They broke up with me before I even went on that stage. Well, it's hilarious. Don't worry. This is just the beginning. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll be back. Don't worry. I mean, that could have been Maddie being like, "Yeah, he's your fucking problem now." And Jules probably has a lot more perspective on what Rue is going through and how she really felt deep down inside. And Lexi did a good job of expressing that for Rue from her perspective, from Lexi's perspective. So now Jules is, yeah, going to go talk to Rue. But mm -hmm. I just wanted to tell you that I love you. Oh. Rue's not angry. And I miss you. I forgive you. Oh. Oh, no, no words? Okay. Yeah, this should probably make me cry too if that happened to me. Alright. Well, that was episode 8. Any post credits? All right, well, that was episode eight. Any post credits? Wait, is there? No, I don't think there is. All right. All right, let's talk about it. Okay, well that was Euphoria, episode eight. The last episode of season two. Honestly, for me personally, at least, the saddest part about this episode wasn't the ashtray scene. Like, that was sad for sure. But I think for me, at least, the saddest part was seeing how Rue and Jules interacted at the end right there. Because it kind of kind of reminded me of like my situation a while ago and you know you could definitely tell how they were both feeling and I'm sure a lot of people could really understand how they were both feeling in that situation you know like I can't say for sure that I've ever been in love but I know I really 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 liked a person before and it's tough when you gotta just let them go and I'm pretty sure that's what Rue did at the end right there she just she let Jules go you know it's tough. It's not easy at all to do that, but sometimes it's for the best, you know? You know, it especially sucks when you feel like you have a real connection with someone too and you get along really well with them. Like, it's the best you've ever gotten along with someone, ever. Your personalities were just perfect for each other. And, you know, you didn't even have to, like, go out and do anything to have fun. You could literally just kick it. And all you needed was just to be with each other to have fun. That's all you need. That's all you needed. But you know, ultimately everything comes to an end eventually. And it seems like Rue decided to end it herself right there to like save herself in the future wise, you know, and it's, it's not easy at all. So kind of just reminded me of that. Um, okay. But with Ashtray and Fez, you know, like it, it's sad. That's what happened. And that's how that, that storyline ended. But at the same time, when you live that life, shit like th that shit happens, you know, and it seems like Ashtray, 
he'd rather go out with a fight than you know submit and go to jail or prison or whatever so you know like he didn't have to do that but he probably couldn't he'd feel too guilty if he let fez take the blame for for all that when he knows he did it and so he didn't want to do that but yeah trying to fight off the SWAT team you know i mean like it's not a rational decision at all but in that moment you're not thinking rationally you're just your adrenaline spiked you know you have no time to think no time to do anything so it's just like yeah it's like fight or flight so yeah rip ashtray and then so like what did i think about the show overall as a whole um i really like the show if i had to rate it i would probably give the show an a minus or like a b plus you know um, okay, if I'm being completely honest, it was really good and really well done, but at the same time, but at the same time, it's really just about high school kids, you know? It's like, there's only so much you can do with that. I feel like they maximized it in the show. They added as much drama that they could while, like, keeping it realistic, because if you try to, you know, go over the top even more it's like then it becomes unrealistic and yeah they definitely stretched some things in the show they went as far as they could while staying in a certain boundary you know so i feel like it just it's kind of limited what you can do with the storyline a little bit but they definitely maximized it as much as they, they optimized it as best as they could but i just feel like that in itself holds it back a little bit but then again like the cinematography in this was absolutely amazing you know i was just immersed in the cinematography throughout the entire series there wasn't one episode or really even one scene to where i was just like i wasn't stimulated by the cin cinematography so c cinematography is a plus a plus some of the best i've ever seen in anything period amazing top tier elite they murdered that they definitely killed the cinematography on this and then as far as the acting i thought every actor did a really good job you know i had no i had really no i had no issues with any of the acting in this at all you know okay and honestly okay i mentioned this in the very first episode that i watched and like my perception of the show before i watched it and now afterwards it's a lot different because i had really different expect i had different expectations than what actually happened you know because like everyone kind of said like okay like they fucking hate rue in season two they hate cassie you know it's cassie versus maddie in it all and like yeah i can see why everyone was kind of like that but at the same time like okay i never hated rue at any given point yeah she was wilding at some points but it's all pretty justified based off what she was going through you know it's like like most people are probably gonna do the same thing so it's like you can't really get mad at her now like yeah she did make some pretty bad decisions decision making skills were not are not good but at the same time she was not in a good, clear state of mind to make those decisions and actually i just remembered nothing happened with her and Lori. i was expecting that to happen like that storyline to pick up i that storyline never picked up like rue never sold any of her drugs she owes Lori all this money it's so like all right season three i guess but i guess the people who hated rue who said like oh my god fuck rue just kind of judged it without actually trying to take the time to understand and understand her perspective on everything and have compassion for her in her situation like yeah the easiest thing to do is be like, oh my god rue's such a piece of shit for what she's doing yeah but then it's like you look at it closer you look at it a little bit more closely and it's like yeah i don't get what's happening let me learn about why she's making these decisions and then you'll probably start to understand with more perspective you have so in the beginning of the show it kind of i kind of thought it was just glamorizing drugs and like showing you oh this is so cool it's so fun you know you know and like what the highs of feel taking drugs feels like you know but then as you got more into the show you kind of realize like it got more into the repercussions of it and the downsides and then it definitely showed more of the downsides and the negative side effects more than the positives but kind of had to show you the pos the positives to show you every stage of it and show you why it's so addictive and by the time you kind of you get to the repercussions of it it's like oh yeah 
this is a reality check to not use drugs at all you know like you really you really get to see the negative side effects and it, in a way that is captured very very well and performed very well by zendaya so it's definitely definitely have no i definitely have no interest in taking any type of drug that was shown in the show i feel like i already knew the repercussions of it but like this has really emphasized it and like reality checked for me without even really having to take any and it's like yeah this is something i am not interested in having an experience in at all you know it's not worth it so hopefully other hopefully ma majority of people who watched this took that away too only watched like the highs the, like the first part and then stopped watching the show and then they're like well they didn't make it they didn't make it seem that bad in the show so it can't be that bad I, I i really hope nobody got that impression from it so and also it kind of made me think about like my friends and everything and kind of how they're doing and like yeah like i have like most of my friends like they don't see, like they seem like they're doing great but you never know like behind the scenes they could be really struggling so it kind of just made me really think about like oh no like make sure they're okay and like don't you know don't just assume they're okay like actually check up on them and talk to them and make sure they are you know because you never really know so and I, and i really liked how they captured it in not just showing you the physical side effects but also the psychological side effects it had on route too like the psychological effects of taking these drugs are like they have a really big impact and it's probably going to affect her for the rest of her life so you know but we gotta be more like ali and learn from our mistakes and be better and then and then like okay with cassie and maddie yeah what cassie did was fucked up but like i heard like oh cassie versus maddie oh my god i fucking hate maddie i know i fucking hate cassie and so like dude i was expecting cassie to do something way worse you know it's like it's fucked up what she did but at the same time dude it's not like she murdered someone you know it's like it's fucked up to betray your best friend like that for sure don't get me wrong like i would never do that to my friends fuck no you know because i respect my friends like but you, you got everyone kind of made it sound like she just murdered someone or like committed a horrible crime you know so yeah i mean but then again, yeah, it's like they're trying to keep it realistic with it. So, like, yeah, I, I get it, you know. I don't know. I guess, like, I don't know. My friends have never done that to me, and I've never done that to my friends. So, it's kind of like I can't really relate to that part of it that much. But, like, yeah, I'm sure I'd be fucking furious if my friend did that. And I'm sure if, like, you have a friend who did that or whatever you can relate on more to maddie's side and you get more invested into it and you can you can feel what Matt, you can feel what maddie's actually feeling with the experience you know? like the only person who really did something fucked up in the show throughout the entire show was nate like fuck nate fuck nate times a hundred mm. but anyways i also want to ask you guys what do we watch next what do we what do you guys recommend we watch next i was thinking peaky blinders because I heard that's a really good show, and I love Cillian Murphy. I love him so much. And, yeah, it's crazy. I've never seen Peaky Blinders. I actually tried to watch it, like, two years ago. And we were, me and my family were going camping. And we, it was, like, a four-hour car ride. Download a couple episodes. I was watching them on the way there. And, like, I, I honestly, like, I don't know. I was kind of just using it the past time. So, it's, like, I wasn't really like i only watched like episode one so it's like you know it's so, like i've seen episode one peaky blinders and then after that i just i never watched it again so but i'm down to do it for the channel but if you have anything else in mind comment down below what we could do you know and let me know if you watched every single episode of euphoria with me how did it go was i annoying as fuck or what do you think if you have any criticism constructive criticism let me know i want to know how i could do a better job so anyways so yeah comment down below what you thought about the show what do you think about this episode how did this episode make you feel and if you liked the video like the video thanks for watching